Hey cosmic explorers, welcome to chapter in 10. Have you ever looked up at the night sky and wondered, what exactly is all of that? What is beyond our Earth, our Sun, our galaxy? Well, today, we're going on an incredible journey to answer that massive question. What is the universe? And we'll break it down for you in just about 10 minutes. Let's start with the simplest definition. The universe is, quite literally, everything that exists. Think about it. It's all of space, all of time, and all the matter and energy contained within that space and time. From the tiniest subatomic particle to the largest structures we can imagine, it's all part of the universe. And the study of this incredible everything is called cosmology. Now, when we look around, what do we actually see in the universe? Let's break down its incredible structure. First up, stars. You know them. They're those huge hot balls of gas like our own sun that produce their own light and heat through a process called nuclear fusion. They are the powerhouses of the universe. Then we have planets. These are large round objects like Earth that orbit a star. Unlike stars, they don't produce their own light. They just reflect the light from their star. A solar system is simply a star, and all the planets, moons, asteroids, and comets that are gravitationally bound to it, circling around. We live in the solar system, centered around our sun. But it gets much, much bigger. These solar systems aren't floating alone. They're part of truly massive structures called galaxies. Imagine billions, sometimes even trillions of stars, along with vast clouds of gas and dust, all held together in a huge cosmic city by gravity. Our own galaxy is called the Milky Way. We're just one tiny solar system within it. And then there are nebulae. These are gigantic, often beautiful, clouds of gas and dust floating in space. They are often the birthplaces of new stars, or sometimes the remnants of exploded ones. They're like the cosmic nurseries and cemeteries. So, stars, planets, solar systems, galaxies, nebulae, that's a lot of stuff, right? But before we dive into the invisible secrets of the cosmos, let's take a quick moment to truly appreciate the incredible scale we're talking about. In space, kilometers and miles are useless. The distances are so vast that we use the light year. A light year is the distance that light travels in one Earth year. Since light is the fastest thing in the universe, about 300,000 kilometers per second, that distance is huge, nearly 10 trillion kilometers. The light you see from the sun took about eight minutes to reach your eye. That means you are always seeing the sun as it was eight minutes ago. The light from Proxima Centauri, the star nearest to our own, took over four years to reach us. If it blew up right now, we wouldn't know for four years. Now, scale up to our own galaxy, the Milky Way. It's about 100,000 light years across. If you could travel at the speed of light, it would take you 100,000 years to cross it. This is why when we look up at the sky, we are essentially looking back in time. The structures don't stop at the galaxy level. Galaxies themselves clump together. Our Milky Way is part of a small gathering of about 50 galaxies called the Local Group. The most famous member of this group is the Andromeda Galaxy, which is about 2.5 million light years away. Local groups, in turn, are part of massive structures called galaxy clusters and superclusters. These are huge gravitational knots holding hundreds or even thousands of galaxies together. The largest structures form giant filaments and walls which span hundreds of millions of light years separated by vast, empty voids. The universe is not a smooth blob, it's a massive cosmic web. These immense structures, this cosmic web, are what really helped scientists discover the biggest secret of the universe. When we measure the mass of these galaxy clusters, we find that there simply isn't enough visible matter to hold them together. 
And that is where we meet the universe's hidden majority. That's right. Less than 5% of the universe is made of the visible matter we know and love. The rest, a whopping 95%, is made of two incredibly mysterious things, dark matter and dark energy. First, dark matter. It makes up about 27% of the universe. We call it dark because it doesn't emit, absorb, or reflect any light or radiation. So we can't see it directly. It's completely invisible. But we know it's there because of its powerful gravitational effects. Imagine a galaxy spinning really, really fast. Without extra invisible mass, the stars on the edges should fly off. Dark matter is like the invisible gravitational glue that holds galaxies and clusters of galaxies together. Without it, our universe would look very different. Then there's dark energy, making up around 68%, the largest component of our universe. While gravity tries to pull things together, dark energy seems to be doing the opposite. It's a mysterious force that is causing the expansion of the universe to accelerate or speed up. It's like an anti-gravitational push, making everything spread out faster and faster. Scientists are still trying to understand what dark matter and dark energy actually are, making them some of the biggest puzzles in modern physics. So, we know what the universe is made of, both visible and invisible. But how did it all begin? And how big is it? Most scientists agree that the universe began with an event called the Big Bang. This wasn't an explosion in space, but rather an expansion of space itself, about 13.8 billion years ago. Imagine everything that exists squeezed into an unimaginably hot and dense tiny point. Then suddenly, it began to expand rapidly. As it expanded, it cooled down, allowing fundamental particles to form, then atoms, then eventually stars, and then galaxies. This expansion is still happening today. All the galaxies are continuously moving further away from each other. It's not like the universe is expanding into something else. It is the expansion. So, how old is this incredible place? The universe is estimated to be about 13.8 billion years old. To give you some perspective, our own Sun and Earth are only about 4.6 billion years old. So the universe existed for a very, very long time before we even came into being. And how big is it? Well, the actual size of the entire universe might be infinite, we don't know. But we talk about the observable universe. This is the part whose light has had enough time to reach us since the Big Bang. Because of the constant expansion of space, the observable universe is currently estimated to be about 93 billion light years across in diameter. A light year, remember, is the distance light travels in one year. That's an incomprehensible distance. So, there you have it. The universe is everything. A cosmic tapestry of stars, planets, and galaxies woven together by visible matter but dominated by the invisible forces of dark matter and dark energy, all expanding outwards from the Big Bang. It's an endless source of wonder and scientific discovery. What did you find most amazing about the universe? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this cosmic journey, please hit that like button. Share this video with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to Chapter in 10 for more fascinating science explorations. Be sure to also check out our playlist, The Universe Files, for more videos on galaxies, solar systems, and everything in between. Thanks for watching, and keep looking up.